Hello everyone, welcome to Ian's Bricks and this is the third and final box of my uh, mega £2,500 plus uh, Lego auction haul that I received recently. Uh, all, uh, all three of the, uh, all of the Lego sets, sorry, were um, delivered in these massive boxes. I had three of them all together and uh, so I've opened them sort of one by one. Uh, so uh, yeah, let, let's uh, get into this and let's see what we get inside of this box. Got my trusty sharp knife, let's get into this. Oh, it looks like it's been expertly wrapped again, which is fantastic. Got loads of these packing noodles. Uh, and we've got loads of these uh, little retro sets as well. So I think what I need to do, a couple of boxes there as well, get rid of some of these packing noodles and uh, I'll start going through uh, what's inside. Right, so the box is just down here, just out of shot. Uh, the first thing that has come out is uh, this here. It's an LED torch. I got one of these, I think, in the first box. Uh, interesting set this. I'm not sure whether this one works. Uh, I think you, the light shines out of the foot, but uh, when I press, nothing happens. I would assume you need batteries in there. It's a little dusty, uh, but it looks as though it's sort of brand new, never been used, so I'm hoping it does work. And I'm hoping there's some way of me being able to check that. So that's the first thing. How much these sell for it shows, I've got no idea. I have to check that out. Now, I've got absolutely loads of these little mini retro sets. I'll go through all these at the end of the video. Uh, I have got rather a lot to get through by the look of things. Uh, I do like these little um, containers that these things come in. Whoever uh, put this all together, it was obviously part of their collection. There's some slightly bigger ones. Oh my goodness, there's loads of these. I know I won quite a few, but I didn't realise I won this many. There's a bigger one there, there's another small one. Right, let's get into some actual Lego, shall we? So I've got a couple of these boxes here. And these are boxes uh, which have got a date on Do Not Open till December 2018. And these are uh, basically brand new sets. Um, so we've got a box of six. There we are, and let me see if I can get one of these out to show you what it is. And it is a Lego Movie 2 set, so slightly disappointing that it's Lego Movie 2. Uh, but I quite like this little set, 70823. It's Emmett's uh, Thricycle. And, um, yeah, I mean, the box condition is perfect for sort of a, a six-year-old set. Um, these sell at shows reasonably well. I mean, I'm not going to get a fortune for these. Maybe uh, maybe £15 each, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, nice little set. I think people people do like these. So I've got six of them in this box here. That was from one of the lots, so, so I've got 21 lots all together as part of this Lego haul. Uh, and all the things that you see in as I'm taking out the boxes, they were all sort of mixed up. So, um, right, this one here is another box. It's the same size as the other one, and this is completely sealed. This is, I don't think, ever been opened. So uh, let's get into this and see if we can uh, find out what's inside. I think I know what's inside. And uh, we have another box of six sets. Pull them out without damage it. Oh look, and Kel Surprise hit some more of the Emmett's Thricycle. This was actually from another, a different lot. So these two here were from two different lots and there were other sets as well within each of the lots. But, so that's 12 of those that I've got. Um, I've just realized, I've just opened it up and this side was already open, so, so never mind. I can seal one side up again. So, I've got 12 of those Emmett's Thricycles. Let's hope people like those as much as I do. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we have this set here, a Fantastic Beast set. Uh, 75951. Uh, this is from a few years ago. It's got a security tab on the bottom. Boo! Uh, someone's obviously bought this from Sainsbury. Uh, but I'm sure these go for around about £20. Um, again, nice, nice little set there. Let me just pop that there. Uh, we also have this here. Uh, this is a set that I really like and does sell quite well at shows. We've got a little bit of uh, damage on the box. It's a little bit sort of dented in the front, but it's not too bad. Uh, but it's the uh, NASA Women of NASA set 21312. It was an idea set. 
Um, I picked a few of these up actually uh, when they were on sale and uh, they, they, I've sold out of them quite a while ago and uh, so I do know that they sell quite well uh, these particular sets, uh, 40 to 50 pounds, something like that. So uh, nice little set that as, as an idea set. What else do we have? Oh my goodness, we've got even more of these small sets. I didn't realise how many of these I had. This is going to take a while to get through all of these. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, just take them all out. We've got another two there, all different sizes here. You can see that there's a lot of red ones and a lot of yellow ones. The yellow ones generally are construction vehicles. The red ones are generally fire vehicles. Have we got any more of those? Right, so I've got a load of pool noodles, pool noodles, um, packing noodles in there, and there's a few loose sets around, so let's try and get to some of these. Right, so we've got a few dimension sets here. This is the uh, Fantastic Beast one, 71257. Uh, this comes with the Tina Goldstein figure and the Swooping Eve. Um, Swooping Evil, yes it is Swooping Evil. Uh, I have to say the box isn't the greatest, I've seen better condition boxes, but I had one of those before from the previous previous haul. I've also got uh, this one here which is Wonder Woman 71209. This box has seen better days, it's uh, a little bit uh, skanked up this one. I have to say I've had better condition of these boxes but it's fine, it just means I have to sell them maybe for a couple of quid less than the, the decent boxes. I'm assuming people will be going for the minifigures. Yeah, this one, this one's really seen better days, it looks as though it's had something, um, like a pin or something stuck through, through there, so eh, never mind. Um, what else have we got? Uh, oh, this one's better. Superman 71236 uh, with a Superman figure and also the hover pod. Um, we've also got one of these, which is Bane 71240. We've got quite a few of these, so uh, I need to try and start getting rid of those, selling them off. Uh, I've also got a few of these as well. Krusty the Clown 71227. Uh, I think I've probably got enough dimension sets now, don't you think? <laughs> but there's loads more. Uh, we've got this one here, Hermione Granger, uh, 71348. Box is okay on this one. I do know a couple of these uh, boxes have been opened, apparently. Uh, we've got 71230, the Doc Brown. This actually goes uh, for a little bit more money than some of the other ones, so that's a, that's a decent one to get. Uh, we've also got this here, uh, and this is uh, Aquaman and the Aqua Watercraft, 71237. Uh, I may have got one of these, but uh, yeah, the box is a little bit squished. Uh, oh, we've also got... Oh, that's interesting. We've sort of got some kind of sticker, loose sticker on the top there. I think it was covering over some other information. Oh, that's interesting. It does peel off by the look of that. So, mm, anyway, interesting. Slightly damaged box there. We've got a Lord of the Rings, 71220. Uh, I've had a few of these recently as well. This is uh, Gimli, um, so we have one of those. What else have we got? Ah, this is one of the bigger ones here, uh, and this is the Doctor Who. So I've got one of these, I think, 71204. What I'm interested to find is whether or not all the pieces are there. So let's just have a quick look and see whether they are. Ah, there they are by the look of it. I will double check the instructions, but what should we get in this? We should get the TARDIS K9 and the Doctor. And it does look as though all the pieces are here, including the figure. Of course, I was a little bit concerned uh, with an open set, whether or not uh, all the pieces would be there. But I will double check this, but it does look as though they are all there. It does mean, of course, when I sell this on, I can't sell this on as new, but as long as all the pieces are there, and they do look in pretty good condition, uh, that they should still hopefully sell on. Someone will still want them. It'll be a little bit cheaper. Slightly bit of rip damage on that side of the box there. So I know, I know that one was an opened one. This is another opened one here, which is the Ghostbusters. And I think this is one I don't actually have. 71228 is the set number. Uh, having a quick look inside. Now we do have a blank piece in that one and it does look as though the figures have been taken out of this one. Boo! 
Um, it does say whenever you buy these auction halls that it hasn't been checked to see if the pieces are all there. And unfortunately for me, this is one where the pieces aren't there. So slightly disappointing. Uh, I might still be able to build the, um, the, the two little side bills, but certainly the Peter Venkman minifigure is not in that box. This is one of the risks that you take of buying things without seeing them first, of course. Um, so slightly disappointing, but you know, one of those things. Nah, it, is, it is what it is. What else have we got? We got another Benny, I got one of these in my other hauls, 71214, uh, Benny from the Lego Movie and Benny's Spaceship. Loads of dimension sets again, as you can see. Another Krusty the Clown, 71227, had a few of those recently. Ah, we've got another opened dimensions pack here, this is the Doctor Who one. I think there were four opened ones altogether from what I can remember. Uh, let's have a look at this one. This is the Doctor Who and the Cyberman, and this has got the Cyberman, and it's also got the Dalek. Uh, so uh, that looks as though it's all there. I will again completely check that, just to make sure. Again, I can sell these on at uh, slightly lower than I would if it was a sealed set. Let's pop that there. Uh, we've also got this one, and this is one I don't have. This is the, uh, the Simpsons level pack. Uh, 71202. This is with Homer, Homer's car, and also the Tauntavision TV set. Uh, this is a sealed one, so that's good. That all looks pretty good condition. Another one I don't have, and this is the Scooby Doo 71206. Slightly bigger pack this one. You get Scooby Doo Shaggy, the Scooby Snack, and the Mystery Machine as well. Uh, this is another sealed one, so that's a tick for that. Let's pop that there. Uh, we've got another Doctor Who and Cyberman here. This is sealed. Uh, 71238 is the set number. So we've got another sealed one of those. Another dimension, 71219. And this is the Lord of the Rings Legolas. Uh, picked up a few of these recently. Uh, yeah, good condition for that one. We've also got the Back to the Future. Uh, this is a sealed one, uh, set number 71201, obviously with Marty McFly, the hoverboard and the DeLorean. There's quite a few of these, I don't know how many of these I'd bought. Uh, this is one I don't have, 71229. Uh, this is the DC Comics, it's the Joker, Harley Quinn, Joker's Chopper and the Quinnmobile. Uh, I'm not sure how much this one goes for, but it's probably a decent amount because it's got a few, a couple of decent figures in there. We've got a B.A. Baracus from the A-Team, I've had some of these before, 71251. Uh, we've also got another Benny, 71214. I don't remember winning this many um, uh, sets actually on Dimensions, but obviously I did. Uh, this is one I don't have, 71221. This is the Wicked Witch and the Winged Monkey from The Wizard of Oz. Wow. Uh, again, I'll check how much this one's worth, but I think this is slightly more unusual. Uh, the box has got a little bit of a crease on it, but actually it looks generally okay. Um, yeah, so uh, decent to get something that's... Uh, it's new for me at least anyway. We have another dimension set here. This is sort of a larger uh, pack here. Uh, Fantastic Beasts can play, play the complete movie. Uh, story pack 71253. Um, I've been selling these. I've had a couple of these from a previous haul and these were selling at shows for around about 20, 25 pounds. So they, they go for a, a decent amount. Uh, what figures do you get? You get Newt and Niffler in there and a whole other sort of building thing behind. Uh, let's do some other sets. There's some more dimensions in there, but uh, it's a bit repetitive if it's just dimensions. Uh, I need to create a little bit more space behind me as well. That's better, I've got some more table space. So, uh, first set to pick out is this here, 40261. This is the uh, little sort of um, harvest kind of autumn 
seen here. I think you could buy these from Lego stores themselves. They weren't particularly expensive. I sold a couple last year, I think, at fairs. They go for about 20-ish pounds. Nice little set, nothing too special. No special, nothing special minifigures, but just a nice, nice little set. I like those kind of things. Uh, we have one of these and I'm really pleased to get one of these because I think I've run out of these 408 for, no, 70841 and it's uh, Benny's Space Squad uh, this is from the Lego Movie 2 and of course what's great about this is you get the four space mini minifigures uh, you've got Benny but you get the pink you get the yellow and you get the white one I know the white one's been available in other sets recently but certainly the pink one I think this is the only place you can get the pink space person Kenny, Benny, Lenny and Jenny are the names of the uh, astronauts. Uh, it's a box is a little bit, a um, little bit wonky, but it's actually okay. Uh, and we also have another one of these. I got a few of these in my last haul. It's the uh, the Lego Movie Two again. It's the Uni Kitty sweetest friends ever. Uh, so again, the box is a little bit bashed, but it's it's not a big deal. Uh, so there's that set again. It's don't sell for much those particular sets. <gasps> Look what I've just found. Oh my goodness. This has made me very happy. We've got some extra pieces in here. And you remember saying I was missing the minifigure from Ghostbusters? Well, there he is. And I've also got something else in here as well, which if you can see, that is Beetlejuice. So this has obviously come out of another box somewhere. Uh, we've also got what looks like the, the pack for the uh, Ghostbusters um, guy as well so it does look as though even though I thought that ghost ghostbusters that was missing the figure it looks like it's in here so I need a bit of a sort out to make sure that all these pieces go into the right sets because if they are complete that just makes it a lot better for me because I can sell sell the sets as used and open but complete and I will make sure they're all checked um this set here oh it's an open set <laughs> okay uh seven oh seven six oh oh eight iron man versus the mandarin ultimate showdown um someone's put a rather odd clip on there okay um all right well we'll, we'll see we'll have a look and see whether that's complete again there's no figures in there so someone's been very naughty and taking the figures out so i don't think that's going to be worth an awful lot but i'll check it out um and see what i can do with that i might just use that for parts or something who knows right what else have we got we've got this set here this is a superheroes dc comics battle of atlantis 76085 uh, part of the justice league i don't think this is particularly special i don't remember this being on shelves but i tend not to look at a lot of superhero stuff this will probably sell for a tenner or so so nothing particularly exciting uh, but uh, 76085 is the set number um we'll, we'll see uh, i think i may have another one of those somewhere uh what else have we got Ah, there it is. There's the other one. I thought I got two of these. Again, this is part of a larger lot. Um, so, yeah, smaller sets, different sets. The sets I wouldn't normally have on my stores if I go to a, a Lego festival. So let's see the rest of these. Uh, I've got loads more dimensions, I'm afraid. Uh, another Hermione Granger there. We've got, ah, and this is the first one of these that I've got, 71233. It's the Ghostbusters, but this is the uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man and the Terror Dog. So really pleased to get one of those. Uh, um, yeah, the box has got a little bit of scuffing on the back, but it's not too bad. It's sealed, so that's great. Fantastic, really pleased about that one. We have another B.A. Baracus uh, from the A-Team. We've got a few of those now. And we've also got a Mission Impossible uh, with uh, Ethan Hunt, 71248 is the set number there. Goodness me, so many dimensions. I've got a Lord of the Rings. This is Gollum and uh, Shelob the Great, 71218. I don't think I've got this one in uh, in dimensions form yet. So uh, there's a new one for me with a Gollum figure with his little fish look, looking all angry and all that kind of stuff, as, as Gollum always does. Uh, what else? We're getting towards the bottom of the box, but it's just full of dimensions. We've got Knight Rider, 71286. I picked up this previously as well from other halls. Um, let's put that there. We've got a Bart Simpson, uh, 71211. This is Bart Simpson, Bart and the Gravity Spinner. Uh, so another Simpsons one there. 
Uh, we've got another Dimensions, uh, which is the uh, Lord of the Rings. This is Gimli again. I've got a few of these, so but they sell for around about sixteen pounds, so they're not too bad. This is one I definitely don't have, and it's another Ghostbusters seven one two four one, and this is Slimer and the Slime Shooter. Uh, again, this is sealed, so yeah, fantastic to get. I'm just pleased I'm getting some different ones. I know I'm getting a lot of the same and similar ones, but every now and again there's like a slightly different, a different one that I don't have. And of course, that's great for fairs and things because you can you can display these really easy. I've got another one of these uh, Joker and Harlequins seven one two two nine set number there. So yeah, I'm getting some different stuff at least to take to some of my Lego fairs. God, how many more of these are there? Uh, it's like a never-ending box. Uh, 71211, another Bart. Oops. Another Lord of the Rings, and this is Legolas again. I've got a few of those. Ah, this is something I don't have. Another Dimensions, but it's the... Uh, uh, another story pack, and this is the Batman. You get Batgirl, Robin, the Batwing, and the Bat Computer. 71264 is the set number. Uh, again, this is uh, one I don't have, so I need to check the price on this. Uh, boxes seem better days, but it's actually not too bad. Um, and. Ah, uh, here we are. So, oh. This is the Beetlejuice one. <laughs> Uh, I knew I knew this was open, so it did say on the list of things that certain things had been opened. Let's see if I can put that back into shape. And we have Beetlejuice and the Saturn Sandworm. Uh, so again, I know I've got Beetlejuice and probably I've got the, the pieces for this as well. Again, I'll check all that out. Uh, I will sell this on obviously as, as, as opened and used, but uh, I'll still... I think this is going to be a popular one. I don't think I've got a sealed one of these, so at least I've got one that uh, is is there. It looks as though it might be complete. And uh, we've got another one that's open. This is the fifth one actually. Maybe there were five that were opened. And this is the um, the Gremlins. Let's have a quick look inside. It does look as though we have the figures. Fantastic. Uh, there is. Um, we've got Stripe and we've got Gizmo. Uh, so yeah, pleased to see those. We've got a few more pieces in there as well. So again, I will check all that out. Uh, the figures look in pretty good condition. Bit of dust on there. Yeah, so they've obviously been on display somewhere. There's a little bit of dust on. So I'll clean those up and uh, make those looking good as new. But uh, all the boxes are here, uh, even though the sets have been opened. All right, we've got a few more. We've got another Superman. I've shown one of those before. Another Fantastic Beasts with Tina Goldstein. And the final two, we've got a Knight Rider. And we've got a Harry Potter 71247. And this is Harry and uh, Voldemort. Uh, and those two are sealed. That is everything. We have an empty box. Finally, I got to the bottom. Um, so, goodness me, I didn't realise I got that many dimension sets. I'd, I'd opened a few dimension sets from uh, from previous boxes, but I didn't realise I'd bought that many. Maybe I bought too many. Uh, never mind, <laughs> buyer's regret. Uh, what I will do is quickly show you some of the, um, the retro sets that are all obviously opened and have a look at some of the quality and just show you, show you some of those. Here are the first four retro sets then. I've uh, done them in a group of four just for them for the easy, easier to see. So the two on the right are both from 1982. The two on the left are both from 1983 and all of these sets I had as a child. Uh, these are bringing back so many memories for me. Uh, these two sets here are very very small. Uh, it's some kind of road sweeper. Uh, all the pieces are there. They seem in fairly good condition for this particular set and I've also got this one here. Now interestingly I had one of these in uh, in, in the first haul as well so I've got two of these sets now. Uh, I think the instructions for these aren't too bad. They're obviously used used. Uh, some of the pieces in there are a little bit older looking but generally they're okay. Uh, these two on the left they're slightly larger sets. I always remember this one because I think it's one of the earliest times that they ever had a, a sort of pre-built motorcycle within Lego uh, and I really like that one. Now I've had a quick look at this. Now the motorcycle is there as is the helmet and the blue helmet is the old style and it's not cracked so that's very very unusual for Lego. There's the old motorcycle. I had a quick look at the minifigure torso as well. It's probably not the best I think it's, it's buried.
buried in there now. So, uh, yeah, not too bad. The instructions for this one are okay as well. Uh, they're quite nice, those ones. Um, and then we've got this one here, which is sort of a delivery truck. Uh, the instructions are a little bit ropey on this one. You can see they've got a couple of little little sort of tears and things in them. Uh, it's not, not the best. It's not bad. It's still all together, uh, but it's it's been certainly a lot more well used. Uh, but again, we've got both of the uh, sticker sheets this time, and they are both still intact. Uh, all in all, I think this is a great little thing. I want to have real fun building these and putting these all back together. It's going to bring back some flooding memories, flooding back for me. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, the fire vehicles. So we've got uh, six uh, fire sets here from the Lego town, from, uh, from all from the uh, the 70s and 80s. I actually had four of these uh, as a kid. Uh, I had the helicopter. Uh, I always liked this one because uh, it was just so, so unusual. They had these sort of upside down windscreen pieces, which is the first time they'd done that. Uh, these particular sets, 1983, I think this one is from, or 82, 82, 83. Let me just double check on the instructions. Oh, 1982. It says so right at the bottom corner, just down there. Uh, but yeah, they had printed uh, torsos. Uh, they started doing those uh, by this time. And these tube pieces as well. They, they was the first time I'd ever seen little rubber tubing. Pieces in this one look pretty good. So I'll uh, look forward to rebuilding that again. It's been a long time. Uh, 6650 for this one. It's a little fire truck here. This is from 1981. So there's a, a year earlier, as you can see there. Uh, this one has got uh, another printed torso here. The minifigure looks good. A couple of these bricks are a little bit bitten and uh, chewed. Uh, you're going to get that. You can see this here is uh, seen better days. Uh, but they're not too bad. Uh, and also, um, yeah, you get the, the, all the wires and everything, the the, uh, the hoses, they're all there as well. So that's not not too bad. I think we also have the printing on the, the doors as well. That came with, with these sets at this stage. Uh, we also have uh, this set here, 6690. Now, I actually had ended up with two of these as a kid. This is from 1980, uh, and unfortunately the 1980 ones had stickers on the torsos, and as you can see, you can see where the stickers have been. Uh, they are no longer, unfortunately. The reason I got two is I had one of these and built it, and uh, had a sort of whole like Lego town, uh, and, um, and a bookcase fell on everything and broke a few things. This is one of the few things that it broke. So I ended up buying another one of these. So uh, I have some broken pieces of this probably kicking around somewhere. So I'm hoping that uh, if there's anything needs replacing, I'll be able to replace it. Uh, the pieces in this one actually aren't too bad. Saying it's from 1980, they actually look okay. So uh, that's an interesting one. This sort of whole section here swings round, which was quite novel at the time. Uh, and the other set here, this is from 19. 84 a little bit later now the instructions on this one are a little poor we've got a little bit of tape on there as you can see that has seen better days uh, but we get the fire truck guy with a white helmet the ladder has definitely seen better days that's very faded and chewed the rest of it looks okay and uh, we've got a printed torso again and a fairly unusual uh, white fire chief's hat which actually looks okay uh, and then the other two sets which i didn't own so we got this one here this is the oldest 602 i have to say the condition of the instructions is pretty gross uh but it's kind of taped and the seams it just feels really dirty <laughs> it's disgusting <laughs> But it's kind of there. You can build it. Uh, this is obviously 1978. Again, we've got the fireman torso here, which the sticker is no longer. The pieces actually look okay. Uh, but yeah, this instruction booklet, well, I'm going to wash my hands after touching this. It's pretty grim. Uh, and then the other set is one I never did own. This is a larger set here, uh, 6358. Again, the instructions are, have been taped together in quite a few places. You do get that quite a lot with these older sets someone's obviously had it in a folder and stuck some punch holes in it so not the greatest but actually the pieces themselves aren't that bad um got a little bit of dust on the top there we have the printed piece on the side here you can see pieces like this which are unusual that's a little bit dog-eared at the top uh the figures are all there although we've got some marking on the front so 
probably not the greatest uh, but uh, all in all I think all of these sets are pretty good nice to see them again there's some better condition uh, than other ones but uh, uh, yeah I think probably my favorite out of all of them I have to probably say it's the helicopter I said I had this as a kid and it was probably one of my favorite sets uh, so I look forward to building that so let's have a look at the uh, construction vehicles Obviously somebody liked their construction vehicles because there's eight of them all together. I had four of these as a kid. I had this one here, 6686, 6652, the dumper truck, 6678, the one with the big claw, uh, 6630. Uh, the oldest one is this, 622. This is from 1978. Uh, the no, no mini figure with this one. Uh, there is the sign in there though. Uh, that's uh, not too bad. A little bit of discoloration and wear. We also have the um, the back of the truck which is a uh, which sort of tipped I think that's a fairly unusual piece actually uh, but uh, the instructions aren't the greatest uh, they're a little bit taped together you can see what the town plan used to look like back in the 70s so you've got a bit of tape on there which is a little disappointing but yeah it's such an old set uh, you sort of forgive it a little bit um, we also have let me show you around the other ones this is a set that I never had this is from 1985 uh, the piece here which would have been a sticker uh, is a four by one and that's pretty grim <laughs> the rest of it looks okay we've got the unusual digger piece as well uh, and the little minifigure looks okay there instructions are a little bit weird on what worn on the back it's a little bit dirty by the look of it um, but generally in fairly good condition um, and we also have this set here uh, this is from, what year is this? This is a little bit later, I think. 1985 this is from. Uh, we have a sort of motorway maintenance uh, guy here with his uh, motorway maintenance top on. Uh, everything else sort of looks okay. A little bit, little bit dusty, but actually not too bad. Uh, this one here, uh, this is one I did have. Uh, again, the, the instructions probably have seen better days, but they're not too bad. It looks as though something was put on the on the front of them. Maybe there's some tape there. I can't quite tell what that is, uh, but uh, yeah. So, but the pieces inside look uh, look okay. Uh, the minifigure again with a printed torso, uh, all the digger pieces. So that looks okay. Uh, this is a slightly larger set here, six six seven. It's from 1980, I think. I did just have a quick look at all of the uh, the dates on these. Let me just see if I can see uh, if it's definitely 1980. I can't find the date now. Where's it gone? Uh, there it is, right at the bottom, 1980. Um, and what's interesting about this set uh, is you have this piece here, uh, which I don't think Lego make anymore, so it still works. The little spring inside is still on there. The pieces inside, again, look very good. I think we have a plain torso on this one, a little bit dusty, but everything looks fine with that. Uh, I've got some of the newer newer ones here. This is from a year or two later. Now I've got holes in the instructions here, 6652. Uh, what year is this from? They always put years in different places. 1983. Uh, and I think this one again is, is pretty good. We've got the minifigure, we've got the wheels, we've got the big tipper truck piece here. And that looks pretty good, Nick, actually. Uh, it's not perfect, but it looks okay. Uh, this one here is one I used to uh, have, 6686, uh, and again, the instructions for this are actually really good. Uh, this is, I think, another year later, perhaps. Uh, oh, 1983 uh, is, is this one. Uh, the instructions are very good for this one, in fact. Very impressed with how they look. Uh, some of the pieces that we've got, again, we've got a, a white piece here, which has got no sticker on anymore. Minifigure looks okay, a little bit of... Uh, scuffing on there. We also have the printed tiles as well for the roadworks. They seem to be all there. Windscreen seen better days, needs a bit of a clean, uh, but generally not too bad. And then we've got the most modern. It's interesting, if you have a look at the front of the um, uh, front of all the pamphlets, uh, you can see the instructions even. Uh, you can see how the older ones had this sort of Legoland flash in here. Uh, and by the time you got to, I think this is 1992, uh, that had all gone, it had all gone with this Lego system and they sort of updated everything. I have to say I like the look of the older style logos. I think it was a lot more simple. I think they dumbed it down a bit by doing this Lego system thing. I just like the Lego land flashing 
across the left hand side. I get why they got rid of that because Legoland was their theme parks so I think it did used to cause confusion uh, but um, yeah I can see why they sort of changed the name but I always prefer the look of the old ones like little, little cartoon cars in the corner. The instructions aren't the best for this one they're okay they're all complete not stuck together but just a little bit dog-eared 1992 is the year and this is certainly a lot more sort of modern lego you have sort of some different torso print in here uh, these bigger wheels which i've never seen before uh, but everything in this one looks okay so a decent selection of uh, sets there uh, instructions are sort of a bit hit and misses to the good ones and the bad ones there's a sort of a real mixture of, of different sets in there but uh, yeah nice to see some of these sets it'll be nice to build some of the ones that i had as a kid that's everything. So uh, yeah, a lot of dimensions in this haul uh, and loads of these are old retro sets as well. Again, there's sort of a mix of whether some of them are any good. Some of them are a little bit sort of old and ropey. Some of the instructions were a bit grim as well, but some of them were okay. So a real sort of mixture. Uh, whether or not I'm going to sell any of these on, I really don't know. Some of the small ones just probably aren't worth it, but some of the bigger ones that are in decent quality, you never know. Uh, I obviously need to check and make sure I've got all the pieces for the dimension sets like this one here with the beetle juice in i hope it is complete it does look as though all the pieces are there so and they do look in pretty good condition as well so i should be okay with that i think five of those dimension sets were opened uh, more lego movie 2 sets and smaller sets within this uh, particular haul but again a decent variety of stuff these dimensions are going to keep me going for some time at my lego fairs i've got quite a few duplicates of certain sets so uh, so i might be uh, might be hanging on to those for quite a while but yeah all, all in all i'm pretty pleased with how everything's gone uh, that is it that is all of the uh, lego that i got from this two and a half thousand pound plus uh, lego haul from uh, from my auction uh, it uh, it probably is more than i wanted to buy i've probably got quite a lot of stuff here which is might take me a little while to sell on but that's fine uh, but i always like doing these because you just get some different stuff some interesting stuff uh, and it's the first time i bought second hand lego i normally wouldn't touch it with a barge pole um, but uh, they were sort of city it was in my my sort of um one of the kind of things that i like uh, and I've sort of been wanting to get some retro Lego sets for quite a while. Um, Cost-wise, they were around about uh, the, the the bid price, the hammer price for these was between forty and sixty pounds. Uh, and there were three lots all together so i spent quite a bit on them um but there were so many sets within there i probably got about 30 sets uh, that even if you sort of sell some of them for you know 10 15 pound each maybe if i'm lucky uh, that you'll probably make your money back if you wanted to so i need to figure all that out it's going to take me a while to get around to sort of cleaning these and deciding which uh, lego fair to take them to i might even present them in a slightly better way put them in a box and and uh, just sort of list what's in there and and just maybe present them a little bit better uh, these containers are great but um, you don't really I don't know would you take these to a fair probably not I suppose you could do I have to have a think about all of that anyway um, yeah this is that's it uh, thank you very much for watching I hope you've seen all three of the videos if you haven't I will leave a link in the description for the other two videos uh, and uh, there will be more hauls coming soon and I've got a load of stuff that I've got to unbox uh, that I've been buying sort of from general retailers at the moment so keep an eye out for that soon uh, but that's it for now thank you very much for watching uh, these videos hope you enjoyed them and uh, we'll see you see you next time thank you and take care bye